And that, of course, brings us to tonight's vigil. Hundreds of mourners gathering to remember that young family. Our Vince Lover, Gene, was at the vigil and is here now with more. Brian Krista, a night of emptiness after what happened yesterday morning. Leaders from Java organized tonight's vigil, where I talked with the organizer and with Sarah Zen's sister. An evening filled with tears, hugs, and prayers. Family, friends, so many heartbroken over the losses of 26-year-old Sarah Zent and her children, 5-year-old Carter, 3-year-old Ashton, and 2-year-old Aubrey. Sarah's sister told me the two of them were close, and each of the children was one of a kind. They were definitely the biggest love bugs ever. Always wanted hugs, always wanted kisses, cuddles. Never wanted to stop until you were out that door. <laughs> JAVA stands for Justice, Accountability, and Victims Advocacy. Organizers held the candlelit vigil. They say the family is in shock, trying to find ways to get through each hour of each day, leaning on support from the community. My heart is broken for this family, but this gives me hope. This gives me, the turnout we had tonight for this family gives me hope for this community. Flowers, candles, and teddy bears set outside the home where police say the four were discovered early Wednesday morning. During the vigil, a few prayers from priests and words of comfort from community leaders while music played in the background. I'm just so speechless about the turnout tonight. Um, it means so much to the families every time we do one of these to see the community support, um, to see how loved their loved one was in the, in, from the community and from their friends and family. Um, it just means so much. Beautiful. I did did not expect all these people to show up. I read 200, and there's definitely way more than that here, and it's amazing. She, I, she definitely had a really big support system. She was always our backbone, always making sure we were all okay, and yeah, she was always there when I needed her, I needed to talk to her. She called me every day. I could hear her little kids just screaming in the background all the time. Some family members set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral costs for the four victims. I'll have a link with this story at WPTA21.com.